Hello and welcome to USC and the Computer Science Department. In today's presentation, we will be talking about the Computer Science Department and faculty members, some academic requirements you will find helpful, campus resources, making the most of your time here at USC in the Computer Science Department, and what you can do outside of the classroom. Here you will see some important members of our community, the Computer Science Department Chair as well as the Associate Chair. Continuing with faculty, we also have some professors that you might see in several of your core courses, and you'll definitely be able to have a chance to meet with them and work with them throughout your time here at USC. The academic advisement team for the computer science department can be seen on the left of this slide. Students will be assigned an advisor in the computer science department following their third week of courses. If you have any questions before then, students are encouraged to send an email to the computer science department using the email listed on this slide. When you meet with your advisor during the semester, you'll be able to discuss different interests, program options, as well as long-term course planning. Students will be able to sign up for an appointment with their advisors using their MyUSC account under the Academic Advisement tool. Academic advisors not only guide you on your journey, but they also connect you with different offices and resources here on campus. Some expectations to have going into academic advisement meetings. At this time, the Computer Science Department is currently holding their advisement meetings virtually via Zoom appointments. Students who arrive more than 10 minutes late to a scheduled meeting are considered no-shows and should work with their advisor to reschedule their appointment. All communication with advisors should be done using your USC email address. We recommend checking this email often as most USC partners use this as official communication. We ask that you allow two business days for an academic advisor to respond to your emails. Advisors generally hold appointments during our regular business hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Listed below are our introductory course sequence for computer science courses. These courses will set the foundation for programming that will help you with your future computer science coursework. Listed in the red will be the prerequisites for each course. Again, this is a sequence, so students generally start off with CSCI 102, Fundamentals of Computation. The next semester, they would take CSCI 103, as well as CSCI 170, and from there, they would move on to CSCI 104. The Computer Science Department lists its core courses as grade qualifier courses. The following courses require a C grade or higher in order to be considered passing. CSCI 102, CSCI 103, CSCI 170, CSCI 104, and CSCI 201. Students who receive a grade of C- or below in these courses will need to repeat the course. This course will only be able to be retaken once. A student who does not pass the course the second time may be disqualified from the computer science program. For non-grade qualifier courses, according to USC policy, a grade of D- or higher is required to pass. Below is a chart of the core major requirements for each of the computer science programs offered here at USC. You'll be able to go over these major requirements with your academic advisor during the semester when you discuss long-term course planning. Please note that for the computer engineering and computer science major, the requirements listed are for the computing track only. For each of our computer science programs, there is a technical elective requirement. You'll be able to see the different requirements for each major on the left. There is a technical elective list that is maintained on the computer science website. Before enrolling in technical electives, we recommend having your academic advisor double check that the technical elective you chose satisfies the correct requirement. Courses used as core requirements are not eligible to be used as technical electives. Listed below are academic resources for students who are currently taking computer science courses. We highly recommend that students connect with course producers and teacher's assistants during their office hours, which are usually listed on a course syllabus. 
We also recommend that students learn more about what the Viterbi Learning Program can provide for them. This center offers tutoring for courses not only in computer science, but also in writing and math. Their website can be found on this slide. Additional assistance can be found for non-computer science courses within the Dornsife Supplemental Instruction Program as well as the Math Center. We highly recommend visiting the website of both of these programs to learn more about what they can offer. CSBA students also have access to Marshall academic resources and can find more information from the Marshall website. All students are also encouraged to learn more about what the Center for Engineering Diversity can do to assist them during their entire time here at USC. Finally, we also recommend that students look at the Korchak Center for Learning and Creativity to utilize the workshops and tools used to help increase their productivity. Straying away from academics, we highly recommend that students utilize the wellness resources provided by the university. Some of these resources include the Wellness Lounge, our Occupational Therapy Services, and our Mindful USC program. For additional physical and mental health support, we recommend visiting the USC Student Health Center and USC Support and Advocacy Office. Getting connected outside of the classroom. You can find different student organizations listed below. There are computer science organizations, Viterbi affiliated organizations, and then there's general USC organizations. We highly recommend that students get involved and work on different projects or find different interests that they have during their time here at USC. Computer science students also have access to two different career resources, the Viterbi Career Connections Office and the USC Career Center. We highly encourage students to go to these offices as they prepare to go into their designated fields. We thank you for listening to this presentation, and if you have any questions after this, you can always email the Computer Science Department at csdept at usc.edu. We hope you have a great fall semester and fight on!